Now, the second annual DC Africa Festival, sponsored by the Mayor's Office on African Affairs, is being held on Saturday here in Washington. The event is designed to showcase cultural and economic contributions of Africans to the nation's capital. The lineup features art, entertainment, fashion, and food. And well, joining us now to tell us more about this festival in Washington is DC's Executive Director of the Office on African Affairs, Ngozi Mezi. Ms. Mezi, welcome to our show. Oh, well, thank you for having me. Well, first, congratulations on pulling off the second uh, DC Africa Festival. Um, from what I saw on your website, all vendor stands have already been filled to capacity. That's so that correct. means a high interest. What about this theme, One City, Many Voices, of course, showcasing Africa's cultural and economic contributions to D.C.? Well, absolutely. Um, the theme is really essentially just um, wanting to highlight um, Africa and um, wh what they're contributing to the district uh, here in, in this nation's capital. Um, we want to highlight the cultural aspect of things by showcasing talent and um, musicians and bands and um, dancers and the economic contributions by really kind of collecting data um, around the businesses here in the district um, so that we can better do outreach for them and capacity building programs to um, really kind of grow the African businesses here in the district. And that comes under what you call this initiative, We Count? That's correct. The, the We Count initiative is essentially just um, the office collecting dem demographic information from residents that will attend, as well as um, businesses and community-based organizations. Now, what, what we're doing is we're wanting to kind of supplement um, data that we have, uh, data that's really kind of an undercount mm -hmm. um, from the census data, um, so that we can better improve our programs and um, improve our outreach efforts to the African immigrant community here in the district. Um, so that's essentially the goal of the We Count Demographic Survey. Now, obviously, the mayor's office was established, uh, and the mayor's office on African affairs was established because of the very strong African community in the district. How strong is it, and what is the objective of the mayor's office specifically on African affairs? The African community here in the district is extremely strong. We really contribute to the cultural fabric of this nation. Um, so the mission of the Mayor's Office on African Affairs is essentially to um, ensure that a full range of services are accessible to mm -hmm. D.C.'s African immigrant constituency. Now those services can be pertaining to health services or social services, education, employment, business, um, what have you. But essentially we act as a resource center and a liaison um, between the African immigrant community here in the district, um, district government services and the mayor. And um, we know that D.C. has a new mayor, mm -hmm. uh, mayor, uh, mayor Vincent Gray. This initiative was actually started, the mayor's office on African affairs was started by the previous mayor, mm -hmm. Adrian Fenty. So there's a real commitment on that kind of level to the African community? Oh, I absolutely. Um, even with this new administration, under Mayor Vincent C. Gray's, C. Gray's leadership, um, he has really um, informed me and tasked me with um, increasing civic engagement um, of the African constituency here in the district. Um, he wants to hear everyone's voice. He's a very um, kind of open and um, inclusive leader. Um, so he is really the one that's kind of driving this and driving the initiative and really wanting to increase civic engagement among the African community here in the district. Well, thank you so much. We wish you all the best tomorrow. So I guess you'll be having a whole crowd of entertainment, dances, food. Absolutely. And maybe you could come back later and tell us all about it. Certainly. Thank you so much. Thank John, you. That's Ngozi, Nems, Ngozi Mezi of uh, the D.C. Mayor's Office on African Affairs who joined us here on In Focus.